Here I am on my low hit point Iron Man PK account, trying to complete a hard treasure trail. They're pretty difficult to do because my account has one defense and if you're blind, I could even get away with telling you that I have 10 hit points. Anyway, this is what happened when I got to the Dark Knight's Fortress's hard cruise step. Whoa, what in the... They put that many Dark Warriors in the fortress? What? Yeah, the fortress is flooded with Dark Knights now. This is because of the recent update that buffed the respawn rates and spawn numbers of almost every Slayer monster in the wilderness. They also buffed the numbers for several tasks, which had some consequences. Here, Prog Fable demonstrates. You're seeing that correctly. 150k Slayer XP per hour. Holy f- This is the best Slayer task there is for experience in this game just from standing there and barraging. This kind of Slayer XP isn't unheard of. We covered the painstaking process Hebox Younga was going through on his max cape speedrun, using many alt accounts to constantly spec transfer and even logging out to make sure his XP per hour stayed extremely high. But it was as click intensive as aerial fishing. But Prog Fable is basically AFKing this, and in real time XP per hour, I think this is the fastest ever method. And he's doing this with just a cannon and a few ancient items. Sex. Least to say he will finish the task very quickly, so he's not going to get that XP rate for long, but it's still a broken XP rate. The Wilderness update improved Slayer all over the game as well, because the new teleport anchor scroll prevents you from being constantly teleported by Abyssal Demons, making barrage tasks a breeze and a decent increase in XP per hour. Eventually, I completed the hard treasure trail in only four steps too. I just needed a little help from my friend. <clears throat> my other account. But we'll save the casket loot for the main channel when I finally release my progress of these accounts. Welcome to RuneScape Chronicles, my name is ChemQ, and let's see what you guys got up to in Gilinor this weekend. An astute redditor pointed out that the top 25 accounts in the Leviathan high scores have no other boss kill counts, which is pretty suspicious to say the least. We think these are all bots. With hundreds of thousands of collective kills, most of these accounts are hovering around 1500 total. Oh, I'm sorry, rank 1 actually has 1569 total. Apparently having 50 slayer and 41 farming is a leviathan pure. Who knew? Needless to say, this caused plenty of outcry from the reddit community, and people have been complaining about bots for, well, ever since old school was released. Though one user on reddit broke down an example, saying that if there were 500,000 bots and 50,000 real players fighting leviathan, a 99.9% .9 ban rate would still leave 500 bots, who can play all day and all night and easily achieve more than the real players on the high scores. So yeah, even if Jagex does ban 99.9% .9 of the bots, they're still gonna be atop the high scores, at least the ones that slip by. But I'm still willing to go through and manually smack them off the list if you need me to, Jagex. Sick Nerd has been on his questing adventure on his hardcore Iron Man. With just his one life, he's fighting Galvec, the final boss of Dragon Slayer 2. But he's running out of food, and we know Sick Nerd doesn't teleport out unless he has to. Good! One last thing to kill the pair, bro. God bless. Congratulations, sick nerd. We expect you to have the assembler by tomorrow. What? You scam! Bro, that's a fake bit of the boat, bro. That's mad! All right, bro, that's a fake bit of the boat. Addy seeds? No, 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 that's not Addy seeds, bro. Unless he brought two different types of seeds. Bro, no, why didn't you log? Dibby Dobbies thinks this guy is hiding some loot. Nah, man, I've just been catted. I've just been catted in fing 54 Wildy. That's never happened. Nah, man. What? 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 I can't, I can't take care of this many felines, man. I have to go. Squidward just got specced by the Armadil Lag Sword. Come on, game! While he's in the wilderness. Please! Yes, baby! Let's go, man! Yes, bro! That's a big kill! 
170 boys 170 let's go bro not long ago we featured dino getting killed by a pvmer named level 107 wait this is the guy no i can't i can't i can't die to the bear again i can't do it this is the guy that pk'd me with callisto earlier but a little bit of my ego now inside of me feels like i can't Shit the f down! Shit! <laughs> oh. the bear worked with you this time 1.7 mil Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I thought that would be a lot more. Dino is on fire today. It's now to join. You guys are horrible. I got dark mode as well. Oh no. Well, that's unfortunate. Chat, you guys keep going. I'll be back there shortly. I should have hopped well, shouldn't I? Oscar's finding someone in the new Eclipse moon set, but he has the Soul Reaper axe too. Careful, Oscar. Wait, what did he have? He protected the Soul Reaper axe over his Ultor ring. Oh man, maybe the guy didn't expect to die. The last quiver to get to 73 quivers. Yeah, now we have 73 leftover quivers. It is time to gamble. Gamble for small heretic. What do you think is the number of the quiver? Uh, I see a number 12. Uh, Ryuga, number 12. This is it. This is for you. Here we go. Number 12. Nothing. Number 12. Oh, I got it. I got it. I actually got it. Oh, oh my God, dude. Someone actually picked the... No, <laughs> no way, dude. I didn't even see the message. I just thought the message was uh, otherwise... Um, you know, I didn't get the pet, but... Number 12 was right. Ryugan 12. What the hell? You picked the right number. Oh, my God. Hey, the nibble chaser. Oh, oh bro. I'm not going to lie. Pressure was there. Where's the pad? No pad? Surely they can run. Even the combat achievement and do the collection log, please. <laughs> Why did I get me? Oh, man. Please. Oh, oh no, we actually got it! The devil pad! Oh! <laughs> what a day to be alive, man. Picking up a uh, DHCB would actually be like really nice for Vorkath though. Yeah, it can't, it can't be claws. I made claws purple. So all, all the dupes are purple. Alright, DHCB would be sick for uh, for Vorkath. Ancy is Ancy. Uh, so it's probably a door. I mean, fine, probably. Dude, as we were walking into this raid, I said DHCB would be, would be cool. Like 20 minutes ago when we, when we were walking in Ulm, I was like, DHCB would be cool, man. Hey! <laughs> Freaking hot chew. No, 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 not again. Oh. Gotta be careful with your one-click teleports. So do you remember when Jagex remixed Nightwish's Planet Hell Song for the Falador Massacre reunion? Well, with this Linkin Park song in RuneScape sound font existing now, we can't help but feel this would have fit even better. What I've done by Linkin Park, but it's in Old School RuneScape by Show Me Your Benitals. Though, we also really like this Nirvana cover. RuneScape sound font remixes are popping lately. And it's all thanks to these RuneScape music artists' unpragmatic covers, Renderscape, Extile, and of course, Show Me Your Benitals. Interesting name on that last one. But we can't get enough of their music. Let us know what you've been listening to so we can bump some OSRS jams until the next episode of RuneScape Chronicles. We upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I guess I'll see you on Wednesday, the update day. <laughs>